Hi, my name is Michael Schwartz, a Colorado Master Gardener located in the fabulous Front Range. In this video, I'm going to show you different kinds of feeders that you can use to attract birds to your garden. Colorado has lots of year-round and seasonal birds that you can attract to your garden. I'm going to show you four types of feeders that you can use to attract birds. A black oil sunflower seed feeder, a niger seed feeder, a suet feeder, and of course, a hummingbird feeder. But also, don't forget to provide water for your birds. If I had only one feeder for my garden, it would be this black oil sunflower seed feeder. Now you can buy mixes at the hardware store or any place you get bird seed, but I've found that the birds want the black oil sunflower seeds and they'll leave everything else on the ground. So I just go straight for the black oil. This feeder brings the most birds to my garden and year round feeders like finches and chickadees can really benefit. There's a study that says that chickadee winter survival rate goes from 37% to 69% when there is available supplemental food given to the chickadees. Now, like most feeders, you have to watch out for pests. So I find the wide top of this discourages squirrels. But as with any feeder, sometimes you get unwanted visitors. My second type of feeder is this Niger seed feeder. Niger seed is a thin black seed, which is the favorite food of goldfinches. And goldfinches I find in my garden from about June on through September. So I haven't seen goldfinches in a few days and I'm about ready to take this one down. But you need a special feeder that has small little openings for the small seed to be contained. I also find that this feeder has fewer pests. Bears don't seem to visit it, squirrels, and it's mostly just goldfinches and sometimes a few house finches that enjoy the feeder. A suet feeder is a great way to attract flickers and woodpeckers to your yard. Suet is a fatty, high calorie substance that's used as a binding agent to put together seeds and other feeds into a brick like this. And then what you need to use is some kind of cage to hold the soot so that the birds can perch and then also feed off the soot. And so I'm going to take this block of soot that I got from my local Wild Birds Unlimited store and we'll insert it into the feeder and then I'm going to put it back where the Niger seed feeder was just a few moments ago. And one of the things about a soot feeder you have to be really careful about is this is really a delicious meal for bears. So you've got to either put your feeder somewhere where bears can't get it, bring it in at night, or put it out when bears are hibernating. And finally, I have my hummingbird feeder hung from this hook off the balcony. I find that bears really like the hummingbird feeder and so this is how I can keep them away. Now I don't get a lot of hummingbirds on my hummingbird feeder because I find they much prefer my geraniums. But there is one time of year in mid to late April where there's not much blooming in my garden and the hummingbirds need a little assistance. Hummingbirds do show up in Colorado about mid-April so file your taxes, then put up your hummingbird feeders. And finally, add a source of water to your garden. Colorado can be dry year round and fall is especially hard for birds to find a source of water. So add some water and bring some more birds to your yard. And that's it, four types of feeders that you can put up to attract birds to your Colorado garden. Black oil sunflower seeds, niger seeds, suet, and of course the hummingbird feeder. If you have any more tips and tricks about attracting birds to your Colorado garden, please leave them in the comments below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and happy gardening.